Here's the right arm, the surgeon sitting in the axilla. I make an incision in the medial aspect of the arm and I'm going to be exposing the ulnar nerve, the yes. medial nerves, and goes directly into the biceps muscle in the mid portion of the arm. That's a good point to know. That's where you're going to be looking for it. The first nerve, major nerve, you laterally. There's the lateral antibrachycutaneous and the brachialis nerve. Now you see here the lateral antibrachial. It always goes up superiorly and I can tug on it. I call this a tug test so I can see the skin. The ulnar's organized. The median nerve is the first nerve that you come across. The ulnar nerve you have to work a little harder for. Sometimes I'll follow it backwards just with surface anatomy from the medial epithelium. the musculocutaneous nerve proximally. Just before I do this, of course, I electrically stimulate to make sure there's no function in the musculocutaneous nerve. These micro pickups, and I neuralize separately the three components of the musculocutaneous. So here I'm pulling off the nerve to the biceps. This gives me more length. You have nerve to the brachialis always goes down. The lateral antibrachycutaneous nerve always goes up. So the LABC is sort of sandwiched between the brachialis two. over towards the median and the ulnar, and that lets me determine which nerve is going to be my donor. So in this case, the median nerve will be the donor for the biceps here. Just superiorly is the fascicular group to the pronator, and on the medial superior side is the expendable FCR FDS group. The median nerve's normal, so I can protect everything. Now I'll go through the residual part of the nerve that I'm leaving to make sure anterior interosseous nerve function, and I've looped my donor, which will be definitive neurolysis where I need to do it. The donors are going to be on the medial side of the ulnar nerve. The donor, and then do the same thing, electrically stimulate to make sure I've got FCU as a donor, and more importantly, do I have FDP to the ring and small finger? Yes, I do. So this is the part that I'm leaving, and I've got a good, strong ulnar motor. Do my definitive setup. No repair done yet and moving everything, no tension.